schedule meeting of the Harper City Council to order at this time. And we'll open the word of prayer. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for every day of life that we have. We're thankful, Father, for the opportunities yes. to serve people that we hold right now uh, to serve the people of Hartford. And we just pray for your guidance and pray for direction, Father, that we can bring a lifestyle to the citizens that they deserve, Father, and just help us to provide for all their needs. But, Father, we just ask for your guidance in making decisions and pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll have... Uh, reading of the minutes of our take a look at those reading of the minutes from the last meeting Accept the reading of the minutes. I'll make the motion. No second. Okay, anybody have any questions or comments? All in favor of accepting minutes, subjected hand. One, ab- <laughs> one abstention now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I read. Oh. I'm slow. Okay, uh, take a look at your financials and let's see if you have any questions about any of those. What do we use the sinking fund for? Jerry asked me and I couldn't tell you. Um, it's supposed to be for a catastrophic event. The only time we've spent the money, the idea was like the ice storm to be prepared for something like that. The only time we spent money was to regional wastewater. Other than that, we never spent anything out of it. Okay. Any questions at all about any of the financials or comments, anything? Why do we carry a lot on here that we're not doing any, not using any of these accounts? Well, um, like EDC, unless there's activity in that. No. Uh, ABC, unless you're doing something. No. Um, no. Occupational no, no, tax. Wait a minute. I didn't get it. Occupational tax, unless you have activity. Um, Is there something in here about the last ice storm we had? Oh, we We're carrying yeah. that account. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. And, uh, talking about on the, yeah, but there's no activity. We got recycling on here. Yeah, I can't. At once in the software that you've ever had an account, you can't take that account out because it has had activity in the life. You see what I'm saying? Even though your balance, but it's dead now, so it doesn't have a life anymore. But you got to keep the records, though. It's in. It's it, it's a part of the chart of accounts, even though the balance is zero. Well, that answers all of them, then. But but. What you can do is that if we need a new account, I can then go back and then change, but I can't keep it from printing because it was there. You know, you can't delete anything in the system. You mean you have to fix a new account if we get yes. recycling back again? Or I could use that one for recycling, but if you never had recycling and you had another new expense of some sort you need to put in there, I can rename it, but I can never delete. It's, it's a security thing. You don't want me to be able to delete stuff. I trust you. Okay. Uh, I need a motion to accept the financials if you don't have any questions. Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion regarding it? Okay, all in favor of it. And thank you. Motion carries. All right, we've got uh, visitors tonight. We recognize Mr. and Ms. Robbie Coppage, and we'll allow you to have the floor to address the council at this time. Okay. Uh, I've got a, a little handout, too. Uh, I do a whole lot better with pictures, so <laughs> you know how to fix And I used to... I used to be here, not really a necessary, 
I met over in what's now the police department, but I was on the city council for a lot of years. And uh, we've lived in, in Hartford almost all of our life. I went to school with George. Uh, I used to be over the community center. And I guess I'm short, short one, but I need this one back. I don't need, I don't need, I know what okay. you're talking about. Uh, I live in Iron Mountain, and the house you see in the center there is mine. Uh, we're getting older and we're trying to shape things up, so we've asked my daughter and her husband and one grandchild is moving in with us. We've got a four bedroom, three bathroom house that really, we really don't need all of it. Uh, she's a daughter, you can't replace that. And he's a open heart, intensive coronary care nurse. Uh, what got us started thinking about it is my wife, who, by the way, today we've been married 49 years. Congratulations. But, uh, but anyway, she fell one night. Condolences. <laughs> and uh, I'm not in real good shape, and I couldn't hardly get her up. And I thought I was going to have to call the EMTs to come out to help get her up. Well, when they had an offer to buy, buy a house, well, or somebody offered to buy their house, I said, go ahead, because we've got a place you can live. Now, Dee uh, teaches school in Ohio County, and, and he's a, a nurse in, in Owensboro. Uh, but the yellow part on your map, is a lot, or is part of a lot that that the city of Hartford owns. Now, a lot of people didn't know that the city owned this, but I went back to the previous owner, and they said, "No, that was deeded over to the city." The idea of it, and the reason it's there, is oh, there's only one way in and out of Iron Mountain. And to the back of the, all these lots is an old road. It used to be called Priest Lane. But, but anyway, the idea originally was that that would, have, would be a park. Blacktop it, put up basketball goals, put a cover of the, the ditch, but put a gate up. And so kids could, you know, play in there if they wanted to or, or whatever. If something happened on the road, somebody could come out and open the gate. You could go through there and, and get out, you know, of iron, of that part of Iron Mountain. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do was build, a, we wanted to build start out with a four car garage and we backed off of that a little bit and we we get going to use the carport and maybe a two car uh, and and but what we have to do is we have to make sure we've got enough left over for planning and zoning which is we have to have 10 foot after you know from the building we've got to have 10 more foot so that was the reason that I had this survey. Uh, well, that's one of the reasons. I had to know where I'm starting, but I, I had to know where I was surveyed. And, uh, and what I'd like to do is buy the part that's in yellow, that, that's colored. Uh, it, it is a 20 foot, uh, I think it's 20 by 130.68 which is 0 0.060 acres. Uh, if, if you'll notice, one of the reasons that I'm doing this, and one thing that I'm 
slow on. If you'll notice on the other side of our house, a whole bunch of lines. We found out in having it surveyed that my neighbor has a two-car garage on the end of their house, and the one on the right is mine, and the one on the left is theirs. My, my property line goes through their house. So I've, I had that surveyed and have changed it. The problem is oh, the day I paid for the survey, I come home and, and my lawyer only works on Monday and Tuesday. But, Not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, I was just going to give them the property. And unfortunately, that was the day that she died. Oh. So I don't know actually who to make it out to or what to do. But, I, you know, I need to take this also to the planning and zoning. But, it, you know, that wasn't the time to talk to them about, about doing that. So I, I'll take it to her, but it may be a little... A little later. Now, I understand that, that we need to, you know, advertise it, put it in paper, and I need to give a bid on it. it. used to be you could sell or buy stuff in a city for like, if it's under $5,000. Yeah, they, read, they, they got rid of the limit and they've been lobbying to try to get it back, but right now everything has to be declared surplus. Okay. So, anyway, we're, we'll We'll try to work it out, and I, you know, I hope we don't have to go through the process too many times. But uh, well, explain this again to me. Yes, ma'am. Her house is built over the utility lines. No, no, that's the easement. You've got the house, and everything is else turned backwards, is not you, Robbie? Now, the, <coughs> the dotted lines easement. Oh, okay. The so solid lines. He's got his picture in his right yeah. turn backwards there. But that's, so, not, that's not of our concern. That's that's between them mm -hmm. and the neighbor. Yeah. 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 But it was. It's it, all part of the way it's Iron Mountain yeah. was laid out. Yeah, yeah. Iron Mountain yeah. was laid out yeah. well. It's well yeah. from the get -go. Yeah. Right. Everybody's property line yeah. is almost changed. Yeah. yeah. I've been mowing the city of Swat for 40 that's, years. It's not developed back here, but I can here. I'll keep on mowing it because I don't want it to grow up. That's the end right? We had to pull it's a guy up. Yeah. Your guy come out. And no, we we had to pull him out. Yeah, it's never but, been developed. Right. And and it's just, if it's just grass. If you get a chance, You're this right. is clear enough. Well, yeah. Yeah. If you get a chance yeah. on a boom yeah. mower, yeah. they can yeah. come out and make a, <laughs> a run down there. I'll try to get that level down where I can get that boat. Well, they've got a tiller. They can come up there and till it up and just reseed it. Well, now there's wires in there. Huh. There's telephone wires somebody. in the middle of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah. But, yeah. But, but, it, but anyway, we'll, yeah. All right. We'll uh, what you've got there is a property that's like, uh, I think it's 107 feet wide right now. I think that's what the property right now is. Oh, it's, it? it's a, yeah, it's a 107. Yeah. Wide, and so what it'll leave right across the street is a, is the other street that's a cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. this is lined up with that cul-de-sac. Right. The cul-de-sac is a 50-foot right-of-way for the city of Hartford. Okay, it comes straight across. If if, if we ever needed to, that Go could that 50-foot right-of-way could be developed as another road oh, and connect out over on. Yeah. Poplar Springs Drive, okay, and that'd be another way out coming down in Woods Drive. I don't think that's going to happen, but anyway, we definitely don't want to give away that 50 foot right away. If he takes off the 20 feet right there on that corner, that still leaves us 80, 87 feet right there, which includes our 50 foot right away. So it's not going to hurt us as far as still having the opportunity to have a street come about. But we do have to go through the process of declaring that 20, 20 feet as surplus property. It has to be evaluated by an assessor to see how much the property is worth, and then we would have to put up 
or ask for sealed bids, and I, it's just a legal process that we have to go through in order to grant that 20 feet. Uh, so the question tonight for us, it's under new business at, as B under property iron mount. Is, are you agreeable to this process? And what they'll do is they'll give him an extra 20 feet. It's already been surveyed, so it'll give him an extra 20 feet of his property. Um, I'll just say as a resident of the Iron Mountain, yeah. it was a real issue to get out of there during the ice storm. Yeah. I mowed it after he, you got sick, so for the city. So. But and it, and a motion would be in order to pursue this if you wanted to do it. If you don't, we'll let the motion die on the floor. But we don't have a motion. A motion that the make a motion that we proceed with this process. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right. Is there any discussion to this? Now, you have any questions about it? You fully understand what we're talking about? I still leave enough room that we ever wanted to yeah. put a street through. It leaves us 87 feet. We just need a 50 foot right away, is what okay. we need. So, so we, we would have an 87 foot. The well, kind of shape that that the street in behind him. Garage is built on your property. You can't tell it's an alleyway. It's just one of your vehicles over it's, there. It's mowed. Uh, if, <laughs> if, it was, if it was built on mine, you know, I could build it on, on what I've got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't have enough to please plan it. Um, yeah. I'd say just and, and, and I'll tell you something else I didn't know. When I had it yeah. surveyed, I now owe planning it's only used to golf cart fifty dollars for having my land. Yeah. That needs to be open But I can't take it to her to to pay her because I don't know who to put this in the name and she's gonna take it in five. Okay, moving right along. So you have any questions about about this motion to proceed with the determining the value Writing the deed for the property, yep. assessing it. Okay, is there any question? Discussion? All right, all in favor of doing that, up up your hand. All right, thank you. So we'll just proceed. Hi, okay, I'm going to stay in touch with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all thank, right. you. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. All right. Thank you, Hey, Do our other visitors have anything they wish to? I did. I took her out last night. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. All right. Do our other visitors have anything to say tonight? It's just me. No, I don't. I'm only here for moral support and for the comments. Okay. So if you guys have nothing economic development related, no questions to ask me or nothing for me to do, I'm probably going to leave you. Okay. Anybody have any questions for the assistant director? No. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Tara, you got anything for us tonight? I do. Okay. Okay. Um, first up, I'm going to bring, if you all remember, we spoke of, about the Spectrum franchise. Mm -hmm. uh, he came to the meeting and kind of explained, and we went over a few things. Um, it's nothing new. We do this with most of our utility companies that are in and out of the city. The biggest hold upon this was negotiating the agreement, and originally there was no obligation on behalf of Spectrum to extend their service out if we were to annex areas or have new development anywhere. So I've been negotiating with the last few months, and we have gotten it down to where if there are 25 residences within a lineal mile, they'll go ahead and extend service. So I feel like that's a pretty good mm -hmm. um, compromise on that. And uh, right now, this is just a franchise agreement to get them in here, to get them on our city streets so that they can have the easements and the use of it. We had talked about opting to do the, um, the fee with this. There's instructions in here about how to get that set up. So once the franchise agreement gets signed and approved by you all, 
it takes about 90 days notice and Lisa can get that to them and they can go ahead and start getting that in. And I think it was going to realize us almost $10,000 more. Right. Yeah, so that was pretty significant. So tonight, um, it's the same agreement you all saw, but for that provision I just explained to you. So I just need a motion for you all to approve it and have George sign. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to accept this lease agreement? All right, franchise agreement. No. All right, motion seconded. Dean discussion regarding the motion. Who's motion? I have a second. Motion, Tony. Tony. Second. Need discussion. I'm going to pay the fee for those they've already hooked up. It's it's not the hookup fee. This is actually instead of what we used to, is we would pay, or they would pay us kind of a flat fee, almost like a lease type fee. And there was a recent change in the um, from the state Supreme Court. So now it's actually going to be where the fee is based upon the number of customers they have within the city they pay us. Are those customers going to be added in that they've already got? Yeah, it would be, once they get the notice of all our city limits, they would go through and identify all the customers in the city. Any more questions? All in favor of adopting this lease, okay, the franchise agreement, all right. Yeah, I'll email you another copy with that one, too. Motion carries. Should be in place. Right here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, next item, Tara. I spoke to you all at the last meeting regarding Earl Russell Court. That is the um, street there where Glenn Miller has his apartments down off Clay Street. Um, I have an ordinance drafted. I think Lisa's laid it out for you. It's just setting out that he did dedicate that as a city street on the plat several years ago. This is an ordinance to actually officially declare it and accept it as part of our system. So we need a first reading tonight and then we get a second reading. Okay, so I'm going to read the. Read the ordinance 201906. Yeah, go ahead. I'll read it. Please. City of Hartner, Hartford, Ordinance Number 2019-06, an ordinance accepting the dedication of Earl Russell Court and declaring it a public street in the City of Hartford. All right, that's first reading, so next month or the next time we gather, we'll have a second reading on it, okay? Good. All right, good. Uh, do we have any old business that we need to consider tonight? I don't remember anything left over from last meeting. Under new business, uh, you want to discuss the moment? <laughs> no. Okay. We'll just leave it like that. Uh, yeah. Um, I think I would discuss it with our attorney. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, item C, cats. I, I got a call from a lady who was concern we had so many feral cats in Hartford I said I would bring it to the council yes, yes. to see what you all want to do about it I talked to her today <laughs> I talked to her today <laughs> oh you did um, I understand that there's a cat <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> I understand there's a, a cat refuge going in that they're trying to fix a place to help wayward cats <laughs> don't have home. homes and we have a bunch of them so I hope they catch every one of them but over do you have any ideas about how to address the cat issue in town we're getting a dog park could we have a cat park <laughs> or a shooting cat be up in the trailer park <laughs> <laughs> so does it does it not fall under our normal, like, animal control? Do they... Uh, I think they they've been approached traps? about it and say it's difficult to catch cats. Not in a trap with cat food. Well, I mean, I've done it before. That my house yeah. can't be that hard. Well, well, that's exactly I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. My neighbors let them out. I got plenty of traps out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll call animal control and see if they can hit the areas where we have the biggest complaints. They would tell you that they can't because they have no place for the cats. They don't have the room for them. And until somebody contacts the local media, there won't be anything done. 
Well, we already know that. They had some issues. Yes, they, they but, down, so yeah. something to come with that. And it took everybody to get, get it done. They had over 100 cats that were, didn't they? Well, there's supposed to be quite a few. It's just the one place I'm from. If there's no. if there's animal abuse or there's some perhaps adult neglect or something going on, we can make a referral on that case to Mr. Embry. But uh, well, if you got a feral cat, how do you know the one? Well, yeah. I, I think she was saying that there may be one specific there, yeah, home there. that may have some issues. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Is behind Kings down there, the end of that little. Way there's a trailer that someone's trying to make a cat house out of. <laughs> I mean, a four legged cat house. <laughs> <laughs> they bought the That's, house. They yeah. are? Yeah. So, and I think they work with the Humane Society. They do. So. That, that makes me feel good. What's I'll that, call them Humane Society. What's that street up there where the old slaughterhouse used to be? Phillips. Or Thomas. There's a little cats up there. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing of it is. With small children and cats, it, it's like pit bulls and a few more things. You don't know what, they're, what, they they're, what kind of disease they're right. carrying, and it's easier to catch something from a cat than it is a dog. So. All right, so we'll contact <laughs> Animal Control. Did I miss something about the mowing? Or? No, we've decided to overlook that for the time being. Okay. Okay. Um, in, our, in, our, uh, in our budget, uh, we have uh, an, an item we've, we have uh, allowed in our budget for the purchase of a police vehicle. Uh, now it's into our next budget, so uh, Leroy's been looking and has found a uh, 2019 Dodge. Uh, it's up in Indiana. We had allowed for about 42,000, I believe, in the budget for a car and equipping it. Uh, he's found this one for uh, about 27,000, and equipping it may be in the neighborhood of about six. So we're going to come in quite a bit under what we've budgeted for this. It's going, to be, it's going to be almost eight now. What Do what now? It's going to be eight. The yeah, equipment. The prices and everything is going up. Yeah. So, so we're looking at a total of 30, about 35000 for this good. when we budgeted forty two. So we've, we've come in. He's done for us to find us. I heard that he was saving $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's already been built. Buying an unsold 2019 versus buying a 2020. That's what we're saving money. Ford's getting out of business. We got a quote on a new Ford uh, wish utility. It's 37, 36, 9, something. And that's the state bid price. Right. So they've shot up dramatically. And we'll continue to do something. Yeah. Which. So that's really doesn't make a difference if it's 2019 or 2020. We're yeah. going to keep it till the wheels fall off of it yeah. anyway, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to keep it till the wheels fall off of it anyway. Yeah. Uh, like I said, the other the three boards that we bought new, you know, four or five years ago, they're still doing good. All of them got about 50,000 miles on it. We're playing on there. So I need a motion to go ahead and purchase this vehicle. Uh, also, where the money is coming from, you know. Make motion. Okay. Purchase the vehicle. Okay. And equip it. And what was it budgeted? And the motion and the money is to come from. Yeah, this money that's. Budgeted. Should come out of occupational tax. Yeah. We don't have enough in. I mean, not. It should come out of general fund. And we don't have enough money in general fund to pay for it right now. So we can take it from occupational tax. And then once our okay. once our general funds built back up, we can transfer money back into the occupational tax. Yep. Okay. Let me ask some did we say last meeting then? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I was gonna say anything. <laughs> it's not a loan. It's right. Not, well, no, loan. what I'm saying. This is just to balance the budget at that point. No, we transferred. Yeah. We got to say transfer. We've got to we've got to do it now in order to purchase yeah, the vehicle yeah, now. Yeah, now. Right. But we'll 
restock that yeah, occupational yeah. tax fund once we have the general funds to do so. Yeah. Okay. Which is uh, when insurance premiums or it could be as late as October, November when we start getting our property taxes back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any discussion regarding any part of the motion? Okay. And all in favor of purchasing the vehicle? Money coming from that. Thank you. Motion carried. Motion carried. So. Who second? Sorry. Uh, who's second? Mary Bell second. Mary Bell first. Yeah, yeah she that, made the motion. Like, no, you didn't. He didn't. He didn't ask. I did. Oh, so I did. Any one of them. You did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thought I missed it. There. I thought yeah. I missed it. <laughs> well, it was somebody else. <laughs> All right. And then um, which brings us to talking about our bills. Uh, folks, it's a time of the year when property tax money is gone and we're living off of occupational tax and insurance premiums. And so uh, we're having to take money from occupational tax in order to pay, make payroll. To, do you want to explain? Uh, it's just that our, our belts are really thin right now. Um, we're, we're at the point that we're breathing in as much as we can. Uh, our concern is getting between now and our main concern is getting between now and August the 5th. It's the next payroll, and we don't have funds for that. I have not borrowed any stuff this, this year, but we will need to be to August the 5th to get through that until I can get, and it'll just be a few days, and I mean like literally a day or two. It just depends on how the payroll day felt and when the interest premiums come in. But we don't have enough for the next payroll. And it will be tight between now and the, even the other funds until we get to property tax money. And this happens pretty much every year. Yes. 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 Uh, in years past, they have always gone to the bank and borrowed 100000 or something like that just to pass over. We didn't have to do it last year. I'd like to not have to do it this year. So, uh, I'm just kind of averse to borrowing money when we don't have to. We can find it somewhere else. Okay. And it's, that's more informational than anything else. It doesn't require any kind of... To do that, take that money? It's all on a paper time. Okay. can. It will need like 42000 and that'll cover and only and only if if the insurance premiums if they start paying early, we might I might not have to. We've right. done that before. Right. We've had right. the motion so that he doesn't have to con contact you through the week. Especially right. insurance premiums go directly into general funds. So okay, I will entertain a motion that we do that uh, with the stipulation that if the insurance premiums covered. Borrow from, or don't say borrow. We won't take from the right, right. occupational tax unless we actually, actually have to. Okay, so can I get a motion to that effect? That I'll make the motion. Okay, thank you. Oh, sorry. All right. Any discussion oh. now to this? How much was it? Forty thousand. Forty-two. Forty-two. The. Uh, Insurance premiums should be coming in. Should be coming in at the end of this month. Okay. Well, they have to have them postmarked. That's the problem. Yeah, it'll be the first of all. They have to be postmarked by the thirty-first, right. and then Monday being the fifth, and it's just I just need a few days grace period there. Yeah. And I won't do it unless we absolutely have to. I mean, it's trickling in now, yeah, right. so. It may end up, it doesn't have to be 42000 it may end up being 25000 right. something like that. So, but uh, we think the maximum forty two. Any more discussion to it? Okay, if you're in favor of doing that, uplifted hand. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, we found out the other day that um, after the first of the year, Windows or Microsoft will no longer support Windows 7. 
uh, some of our computers. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, they're trying to get everybody to go to ten. <laughs> yeah. And we've got we've got several computers that don't have enough RAM to handle ten. Uh, so anyway. And a server this uh, And a server. And a server. The server has to be upgraded and let's go back to paper. Uh, <laughs> somebody gonna be doing all right. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you well, it's Microsoft <laughs> updated uh, my word product too. Well something. our um, the software that that we use to read our water meters, for example, Itron. Yeah. They're upgrading their system, so our system will no longer be, be supported by their. Yeah. So we've got to buy a new computer and a system to use the electronic reading of meters that yep. we utilize. So the fellas don't have to go out one by one, raise the lid, and see which meter reads. How many are you talking about? We're talking about five computers and a server. We're upgrading. Fifty dollars ought to do. We're upgrading one of the computers that's a 2016 model that has Windows 10 on it, but we're upgrading it to take down and replace the one at the water plant because theirs is not as uh, vital as the four here in the office. And then when there's one in the fire department, which they use for training, that right now it's obsolete yeah. and so it's going to, have to be replaced so we're talking about five computers and a server and we're looking at a total of eight thousand eight hundred ninety seven dollars uh, the computers with the software run about 950 each the server was about 30 what was it 30 she right. can't remember numbers either. There was okay. Four, like they told us. They thought it was going to be in the four to five thousand dollar range. It came in right around thirty five hundred yeah. for the server, and the other five computers, uh, nine hundred fifty each. Uh, the one is upgraded for a Windows ten license with uh, for one hundred eighty seven dollars, and then one of them had two hundred fifty dollars software. So. They also agreed that we could make it in well, yeah, we can do four it. installations. Four no payments interest. stretched out over a payment a month, $2,200 a month. So uh, that means that the last payment is going to come in November, which is we'll have property taxes by then. So that'll help us. Welcome, Mike. So uh, it's just a matter of keeping up with technology and advancement and it's we've had the, some of these computers since 2012 do you uh, think you're going to need training on some of this stuff for the, people? the uh, software for the water billing is of course it's a totally different program for the ITRON uh -huh. and uh, they're coming in and doing software training for okay. uh, for Good. them on that uh -huh. Uh, the other is basically using an uh, office and put the software they use in the office and, and then we use our accounting package United States Excel yeah. and all that yeah yeah so how much is it for five computers plus the server eight thousand eight hundred and ninety seven dollars would it not be cheaper to buy a new computer um, seven hundred dollars is the computer is what the computer that is. New is. So, bad, so they're not just right, upgrading the computers. OS; they're they're upgrading the whole system. Yeah. 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 The okay. server and we've got some that are 2010 model for you to pay 250 dollars to upgrade. Yeah. yeah. And then the time the guy put it in, you got too much money that you're investing in a 2010 computer. We're going to use all old, our own monitors. We're not buying any monitors, keyboards, or mouse. It's just the box. What, what RAM did these have? Were they four four gigabytes? The ones we're buying, I, I don't know. I, don't I think to operate ten now, you've got to have a minimum of at least four gigabytes of RAM mm -hmm. to 
And they are the professional grade, not your home business. It's not a PCs. Lisa, is it going to change our Outlook service and all that? You know, because we just got that new stuff. Yours is our, yours. You're perfect. You already, you're ready for your change yet. You want to do nothing. You need a motion for this? Yeah. I make the motion you go ahead and buy the five computers and servers for the price that's quoted. Take the money out of occupational tax. Okay, and take the money out of occupational tax. Okay. Second. All right. Well, there want your savings on your police car. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. What? Can't we spend Leroy's <laughs> Can't, you can't say, hey, you can't have equipment when you yeah. just save some money. If I, mean, come on. if I could get the employees to, to work another couple of weeks without pay, it would help. You know? That's what I've been doing, y'all. No. No. <laughs> we need to buy another police car so we can save some more money. We haven't had a police car in, what, three years, two years, three years? We were, huh? One year we tried, We were trying to do it every other year trying to replace a police car every other year yeah. and uh, we went for a few years without doing anything so we're overdue on it we, i think we kind of lucked up on the price on it so all right we have that motion if there's no more discussion if you're in favor of purchasing the computers for that amount all right thank you I'm not spending money on a Thursday night. Okay. We have to open up a new bank account. We haven't got, but how many know we're? About 17. 17 bank accounts. We've got to open up a new one. Wow. Uh, this is, go ahead and explain where this one, what the need for it is. It's called, the name of the account has to be called Short Lived Asset. It's related to our 2018 bond. $750 has to be put into the account. The problem is it should have been started back in 2018, which means that $18,750 was what we needed to move by the end of July. Yeah. And uh, it is just a bond requirement that sits there. They are, the way bonds are paid is the USDA automatically pull the money out. You have the money there, you don't have the money there, and they're pulling it on the day that it's due. And, um, they tell me the name of the account it has to be short-lived asset, and so I just need to open that account, and I need the check signers to be. He's got the same as yeah, on we, our. Other we've account. got to okay the check signers, the same ones that are on our other accounts. It's uh, me, Elisa, Maribel, and and uh, Jerry, and uh, I didn't get yep. on that account. And Patty, oh. Patty Bay. <laughs> She's also on it. And this is the one that we brought up because of the audit that we got last month, right? Yeah. It's just so that they're not taking money out of our general fund account or some yeah. other account. You know, mm -hmm. this is money that we know is sitting over here in this account. They come in, they get it, we replenish it, restock it, and they come get it again when they feel like it. Wow. <laughs> it's just a bookkeeping thing that uh, trying to keep everything separate and orderly all right if you're in favor of opening this account any discussion to it who made the motion do we have a motion okay i'll say, accept a motion to open this account i'll make a sorry motion. i've had too many motions <laughs> to open up short left account. okay all right can you make that and jerry seconds it all right now discussion to the motion all in favor, uplift your hand. All right, thank you. Okay. Um, we've had the Earl Russell. Do you want to close session? Unless you want to. Hmm. That can wait until after if you want. We're done except for that. No, we're not. No, we're not? No. Okay. How are we doing on the delinquent tax business? I've got to get with Lisa. I've got a standard form I'm about to send out, and we've got to get the most recent payments because we've had some come in, and then we're going to start sending out all the notices. Because when do you think that we're going to get that done? I'd like to get them out by the next, by the end of the next month, because I'd like to start things. The reason I don't want to start it now is if we start it right now, then we get right into another rollover, right when you would start getting judgments into another tax time. And if you can get that afterwards, then you know exactly what. Um, you don't have to worry about those next year's taxes. 
So by the time we get to the judgment part of it, I'd like it to come right after the first of the year if we can. So my question, my well, how long have we been working on this? We've got over a year. What, yeah, we've long? been as been more. Yes. And I don't understand why it matters with the new taxes coming in. Well, yeah. It's just because it's just another bill to be paid that you have to kind of figure out, make sure it gets picked up. But the biggest problem is making sure all these properties, you have to you have to look at the title and make sure who the owners are and everything on them. Thought you already had. I ain't got all of them done. That's a big list. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like we've been at this a long time. We've talked about it, talked about it, and it's always something. When we sent out the the letters, we've got several that did actually pay from the letter. And That's of course, good. the twenty first of every month is more penalties and interest is added. <coughs> so you have to be careful with ways calling and asking them out because you know when you said it was this amount. We got to make sure and let them know it changes. The computer automatically does that on the twenty first. So after that letter came out, we did have several come in. And pay, so we got to update those no names because you don't want to serve somebody when they've already actually already paid it up. Well, yeah, you know, I understand that, but I guess I understand why we can't move on it better. I mean, we've had some come in, uh, but we can but go ahead, ahead and we mark them off. We'll go. We'll go ahead and I'll get with her, and we'll go ahead and try and at least get that updated so we can we can get it going again. I think we need to move on that. I really do. We. We're dragging our feet, it seems like to me. I miss impatient when it comes to getting money in. <laughs> Glad to go for it. Next one. Go next one. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I have this little corner filled in. All right, good. <laughs> you know good. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. The unkept lots in this table. And the weeds on the roads growing so high. I have to ask a specific we're, we're running we're running man short have been for about three weeks and probably for another nine weeks we'll be running a man short so whenever we have garbage collection on Wednesday Thursday and Friday there's only one person that's running maintenance and that's Jason right now the other, the other three are on garbage collection Mike's had rotator cuff surgery and he's out for 12 weeks so we're running short on manpower uh, the work that we've done our honeydew list is that long it, we've had uh, the downtown project has taken a lot of their time spare time uh, we've had uh, just maintenance issues garbage truck being down uh, just routine mowing this time of the year has kept us pretty busy uh, the days that we're not collecting garbage, so it's just we've been snowed under with things to do, and that's one reason we tried. There's some lots that we've mowed, and uh, there's I know there's a lot of lots that need to be mowed, and uh, that's an indication of ownerless lots that uh, we need to pursue. And, Try to get some of them have owners. Yeah, and Nathan is he's citing some people for unkept lots, and we're getting some results out of the citations. Um, there's a legal process we just had to go through. It's just like up on Practice Street, you know. We just there's certain people think we. Don't do anything. Well, it's just a slow process. Well, that looked pretty good for a while. I drove by there the other day, and I thought, "Oh my word!" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot more of them than that one too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, we know that. You know, but it's a process that our there on Barn Street was one that was, was overgrown, and neighbors complained. He cited them, and it's, it's, it's. I will say the house on Griffith, the we call it the Jumanji house. It's got all the. <laughs> all the trees and the bushes and everything. That was in the paper the U.S. Marshals uh, are about to have their foreclosure sale on it, so that should hopefully get that one taken care of. I there was don't another even one. know which one that is. That's 
Mike. Oh, I got pictures of the yeah. I got pictures of the tree, not the house. You can see the house. Yeah, they've been working with the they've been working with the mortgage company for. Is that why you're here? Yeah, paid. basically. Okay. She, I'm sorry. She, thank you, Thunder. No. <laughs> did she? Did you understand? That yeah. It's well, I heard last week was up on the auction. Yeah. And I saw it in the paper, so I'm, yeah. I'm, but I didn't know it last week, and I was the only concern that would be there when somebody actually looks at the house. He had cats in the house for over two years. Never come outside. So that's going to be. We had another one like down or there, you know, so. We had another one like that uh, a couple of years ago, where it was like they were running inside a petting zoo. It sold. It did well. <laughs> so. I, I couldn't even stand to win and look at it, so I don't know. What. <laughs> no, I was up at the door one time. They curled her, and you know. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> that house. Uh, but there's other properties though. Yeah, down below, Doctor uh, Doctor Anderson. Race cars sitting in the front yard. Yeah. Fire tires laying on the porch. And depending on the day you go by there, it's even more chunky because I've been keeping my eye on that place. Just need to let Liberty know. Street, the next street down, he got five or six race cars down there. Okay, you just need to let Nathan know about those things. I'll tell you, if, we if, got you, if you call him, he usually goes out and, and sends a notice. You give me his number, you got it. 270. She is. No. 775. <laughs> Eight one four. Eight one one. But I've been helping them to volunteer mowing since the guys been. I know they've been busy. Well, they've, well, they've it's, been. It's going to take more than just a lawnmower to get some oh, yeah. weeds off the side. <laughs> well, we're just calling on Locust Street right beside, just past the fire station. There's an old green trailer there that's got trees growing up through the porch. And mm-hmm. It's overgrown. And I will that? say too, though, when it, when a citation is issued. If there's been no, that citation is after, I think it's 10 days. If they've not abated it themselves, then that becomes a final order to where the city can immediately go out and abate, like for mowing and things like that. So once a citation is issued, after 10 days, if it's still there, that's a final order to... to well, what's so the fine on that? that one? $10 is first. 10 is the first one on grass. It depends on what the violation is. It's in the ordinance. It's got a whole chart. Need to be jacked with or get their attention. You gotta be careful on those. <laughs> the, the, the courts come after you when you get them too high, so you have to kind of play with them what they count as reasonable. There's a house on Oakwood that the, the Smiley boy did live in, and I think he took a little trip, and it hadn't been touched this whole year mowing or anything. Or it's the it's second that? second house after you turn up Oakwood from. You know, okay. I'm pretty yeah. sure there's been a citation issued on that one. It's got the trailer taken back there behind it, or is it? It's, it's right trash. before you get to the smiley shop. Oh, yeah. that little fellow, he's got a sign out there, stop and look. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Apparently, John Johnson. Is that right? Were the roof falling in the house? No, it's the Smith's old house off Grandview, right? Yeah. The owner, uh, the owner moved to Arizona. They foreclosed oh, on it, yeah. and someone has bought it. Someone bought it. Johnny Johnson bought it. Yeah. He'll get it. He'll get it taken care of. Yeah, he'll clean it up. Moving right along. Now I have my cattle problem solved. Okay. You want know, me how soft? You put up a fence. Uh. No, that's a uh, zone residential single. Oh, it is. Yeah. How far out? That whole lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Behind me. Mm-hmm. That's just fine. <laughs> I've been digging. I'm telling I you, ca- I'm on a, I'm getting on a roll with some of this garbage stuff. All the cows want to do is just live there, so that's residential. Well, not in my backyard. I'm a NIMBY person. Okay. Well, I, um, my I do have a question, though. Don't we feel guilty about... Well, we we shouldn't feel guilty about it, but when we're going to clean up the lot down here for the city owners? Which one? All that crap that's for piled up there. <laughs> that's <laughs> always... Oh. There's always a... a, 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 a yeah. Okay. Re- yeah, where recycling was, yeah. So we just need to haul it down to the... 
I don't know what you need to do. I didn't bring it to my house where most of it goes. Do what? <laughs> Put it down by my house where most of it's going. No, that's just the yeah, top exactly. And it's just being stored there until we can. Yeah, you know, I understand that. You know, we had a call a few years back that they were using it for a dump, and I tried for two years to move it and got it moved in one meeting one time. Yeah. And I understand you got to use that property for. We've got a use things. for that concrete as soon as the crops are in and the water goes down. and. Well, I assume some farmer would love it. Do what? Some farmer somewhere would love it for ditching well, and erosion. Well, the winks down here below the weir have already spoken for it. Okay. We've already got the okay from the uh, all the water. Corps of Engineers. Huh? Corps of Engineers, yeah. We've already got the okay from them to dump the concrete in there to stop their washing out of their field. But they've got crops in there right now. When they don't have crops, it's either raining or snowing or something like that, we can't get in there. So it's been a problem with logistics. Well, you know, it just looks a little rough. You drive around town, it looks damn right chunky. We need to put a fence around it. Around town? <laughs> well, that's what I've done in my backyard, so I wouldn't and have, we'd to, have to put a toe on the back entrance. Have you been down there to look at it? It's, got, it's metal, it's nice metal. Or it could be used as metal, you know, recycled, but it's got uh, insulation, well, you know, stuck to it, so it's not used. Yeah, that'll kill you, yeah. It's got to be hauled down there, and it's uh -huh. not just one or two truckloads. I know, it's a, it's a big heap. Again, it's just one of those issues of when we have time. Well, when it, who, who dumps it there? That was, it that was just torn down yeah. there. They took That's the building, building down. Last year. Now they cleaned that building up once. No, that's no, a, that's still old building. That's, the, that's, the, that's a recycling that's job. When it was torn court. down, why didn't they haul it then? Well, job courts. Job courts court 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 right. down. And then when they took what they could use for their welding they, classes, right. and then what's left is what the students couldn't use, so we didn't have to pay to have it torn down. Right. What's left is what jobs courts couldn't use in their classroom. Right. Y'all let me haul it off, I'll come and get it. No. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, you can have it. What are going to do, put in the back of the Cadillac? <laughs> yeah. is, it, is there metal in there? It's, yes. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of metal. The sheet metal, sheet metal, but it's got sprayed on insulation oh. on it, so it's not metal that you can recycle. It's just how it would be. I don't know. Call Frederica Street. They seem to... <laughs> just leave it there. It'll come up missing, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. It's been several years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's been several years. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. I'd say if they'd have won the concrete block or two, they wouldn't miss them, would they? Do what now? If a guy won the concrete block or two, they wouldn't be missed down there, would they? Well, not yeah. really. You know. If you took a ton yeah. of it, they wouldn't be missed. <laughs> Take some metal. Put, take some metal when you take the concrete block. Yeah, that'd be good for that wall. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if you tell somebody there's free metal in it, if they got to haul it all off, they might very well do it. You can't just give free metal that's laced with ant or uh, whatever. That's best. Well, it's not as best. It's just, just the it's the blown in insulation. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Pretty much useless. Right. Anything more? Yeah, that's all on my list. Okay. I'll get another list for next month. Okay. <laughs> you want to say anything, Mike? Or no, I just talk about that, and I understand. You know, uh, I know the city's covered up, so I didn't know whose responsibility it would be. Well, the owners, which in that case, I don't know who the owner that I know. It's not he's not owner anymore, so I figured a bank would have it. Yeah. It's some old company. They should take care of it. They would come in about once every two months and try to mow, but. The trees have overtaken the okay. mowing. That one's a little bit different than your standard mortgage situation because it was back with the U.S. government. Yeah. And when you get the, when you get rural development in, you have to you have to go through the U.S. Attorney's Office. Nathan's actually been in contact with them over the past year, yeah. and that they would at least come mow, but he never could get them to trim the trees. And now that's up for sale, so we're hoping a new buyer will get it. And you may decide to probably get it, Bob, because there's tons of cats over there. Yeah. Wow. That we can't. Well, the cat will get because we've already discussed it. They have cats that keep coming back. I'll tell you one thing we all better be thinking about. You know how disease spreads between rats and cats and yeah. everything yeah. else. Yeah. And like I said, we've got a lot of kids roaming the streets. 
Well, they can't play on the way. Please. Well, I, no. no I'm but honestly, they're a bit bothered. I'll Butch tell you what, I've been in enough. his duck workout. Okay. Uh, first, I've never been bothered with rats across the street, so I didn't know if that's true or not. It's probably squirrels. But that was one of my concerns, uh, the rats. Right. That yeah. I haven't seen it, to be honest with you. But this winter coming up, they're going to look like me a golf home, good home over there. Okay. All right. Come down to my house, pick up a few of the cats, and take over. Well, even if you cats, I think it's really going to have rats. I, I am paying attention, Mike. I'm trying to kind of catch, when they sell it, I'm trying to figure out who's going to buy it. And we're going to probably get in touch with it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, when we, Lisa's reminded me that when we replace these computers with the new ones, we need to declare the old ones surplus so that we can sell them to anybody that wishes to put a bid in on them or whatever. So I just need a motion to make the old computers that we're replacing at designate as surplus property and that way we can first. Okay, I'm motion. We're going to do that with our police car sitting down here too once we get to do it. Okay. To make that surplus. We just got that one down there that we need to. Yeah, yeah we're going to save the one back here. No, we'll the, keep this one. Yeah. That one's already surplus. And they're using that one for parts. Mm -mm. Well, no, but we are going to use it for like the radio and the power and such. When, when it was it. sitting down there, I don't know what's been moved, was already declared. That if the not. one down by the fire department had been declared last year or so. Yeah. Okay. No, that was the other one. This year is one we still, it still runs. It's yeah, it runs good. good. Well, where did yeah. that one come, where did that one that sit down We there sold last one year? to, uh, last, last surplus sale, we sold one of them. But that one didn't work, and they left it down there, and they were going to use it for parts, and we declared it surplus and sit there for over a year. No, no was, that was the one set up here. Earth. Set up here in the. They crushed one. These well, let's just declare it in surplus. That okay, way. let's make sure it is declared <laughs> surplus, whether it is or not. Okay. I'll, I'll get the details on the year and all that. All right. So we need a motion to declare the our extra computers as surplus and also the one police car down by the fire station. I make a motion. Okay, second. A second. Okay, any discussion? All right, all in favor, thank you. Anybody have anything else? I made a call today to AT&T and I talked to a lady and found out more today than I ever have. And I have an 800 number you can call. And she's got a, a thing you can download. It's called Mark the Spot. And if you get a drop call anywhere in the city here, there's low signal, you just can punch Mark the Spot and it'll send it to them and they'll know what they got. And the more of these they get, the more likely they're going to put a tower in. Uh, my easy chair in my house is a marker spot because I, <laughs> I can't get a call. If you don't try to home. call me in my house, I can't get a phone call. Once call. Right. There's a number, you can call it and she'll. Okay, hang on to that number. I'm going to use it here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought about talking to them about maybe moving their. their uh, dish up on top of the water tank or something. Well, I asked them about that and they said they will not put them on top of the okay. water tank. Okay. Fine for that. That'd be a nice place I even town. got the heights of the ground level and the top of the tank stuff and they wasn't interested in none of that. We are receiving rent though because we do have transmitters up there for Q Wireless on the old tank. Mm -hmm. Connect grad comes from there, and there's another one. Oh, a couple of informational things. Uh, I've already got the plans for the sewer meter that we're going to install down here on West Union Street. Uh, the engineer's coming over Monday, and uh, with Leroy and me and uh, probably Taylor's regarding the electricity we'll uh, go down and make sure that we've got enough space work to put it in. He said they estimated between forty and 50000 what he first came up with. Yeah. Will that have a fence around it? Because they said yeah, the kids no, play. It's, it's buried in the ground. 
15 feet deep. It's 15 feet deep. Oh, okay. I was going to say that. It they told be. me that the kids play with that. They could bust that fiberglass. No, this is 15 <laughs> feet down, and it's got a it's got a cover over it that you can drive over. And, okay. And it'll be locked, and it'll be uh, it'll have a, it won't have a wireless transmitter on it, but it'll have a, a digital readout. Yeah. Every day they'll have to go down and read to see what the reading is. Like at nine o'clock every day, there'll be somebody go down and get the reading for it. So that's progressing along. The uh, water tank is—he's got the plans done for that. It's being submitted to the Division of Water right now, the preliminary plan, and then we'll have to take it to uh, Green River Water Management Council present their for their okay. It's just a long process. I don't know what all he's got to go through. But he's got the plans done for that, and so that may be in the near future. Uh, Weren't we going to buy something for the water plant? Oh, yeah. Uh, another motor, another pump. Pump, motor. yeah. Yeah, we were going to buy another one, but we we just haven't had the need, so it's kind of we put that on back burner for right now. You know, we've got we've got one mm -hmm. that we can use. You know, if we have to, we just don't have a backup for it in case it goes bad. Okay. So, so we're kind of buying our money so that we don't go out and buy it. <laughs> well, nothing. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Everything's going good right now. <laughs> yeah. but we're just. We're not mentioning it, okay? I'm sorry okay. you brought it up. All right. <laughs> okay. Now watch. I will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoop, this is Leon. Leon. Leon called me right now. Yeah. Okay. Just went down. We got two Leroy's. And not Leon. <laughs> Think about Leroy sitting back here with the car. All right. Anybody else have anything else? What about the water tower? What's the, where are we at with that? Do what now? The water tower. Yeah, he's he's got the plans already done for it, uh, and he's submitted. It. He's communicating with the division of water. Okay. And once once he gets everything of the preliminary engineering report done, then we'll go to grad to the water management council for, in September. I think is their next meeting. They've got to give an okay to it. A recommendation before we can apply for the the grant that's going to give us 50 50 match. Now we probably will, rather than issuing bonds, probably just go borrow the approximately 150,000, pay it out over four or five years instead of issuing bonds. Again, we've got too many bonds issued right now. Do you still use that tank on Frederick Street? Yeah. It's in the system. Uh, actually, it fills. I think, it, if I'm not mistaken, it fills up first, and once it fills up, then the water is bypassed to the other tank. So we've always got that 125,000. Then he's big to the Yeah. The, the one that's there now is the larger one. It's 125,000, and the other one was the smaller one. It was 75,000. It was the first one, and it took it out. They were going to paint hot and cold on, you know, but they never did. I thought, I thought that was a jewel of an idea, but, uh, but anyway, so that's where we stand on pretty much everything right now that I can think of off the top of my head. So, any other questions or anything? Anybody bring it up? Entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay, seconds over here with Curly, so. <laughs> All in favor, <laughs> all in favor of adjourning, uplifted hand. Thank you, motion carries. Thank you. All.